Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I'm sure this sounds out too overpowered. Good morning and welcome to the Bishop William Canaris Center. It's a beautiful, joyous day, historic day. Uh, welcome the members of the local media, uh, the diocese and priests who were able to make it, and of course all the diocese and employees who are here. We are here for the first meeting with local media for Bishop-elect Lawrence T. Persica, who was appointed the 10th Bishop of the Diocese of Erie by Pope Benedict XVI yesterday, July 31. Pope Benedict XVI has named Monsignor Lawrence T. Persico, Vicar General of the Diocese of Greensburg, <coughs> and Pastor of St. James Parish, New Alexandria, as the new Bishop of Erie is a source of great joy and satisfaction to the entire Diocese of Greensburg. It is likewise a cause of sincere congratulations and pride that the Holy Father has recognized a native son of ours by promoting him to the Episcopacy and entrusting to him the responsibility of shepherding such a significant diocese as that of Erie. And now, as a small token of our admiration and our gratitude and affection for Monsignor Persico, Bishop-elect Persico, I want to present him with a little gift. As a bishop-elect, that is, a person who has been named but not yet ordained or installed as a bishop, he has the right to wear what is called a zucchetto at all liturgical occasions, when he's celebrating Mass, when he's administering the sacraments. He wears this particular uh, headdress, a zucchetto, as a sign that he is about to be ordained and installed as a bishop. And so it denotes his rank, so to speak. So, Bishop-elect Persico, dear Monsignor, I want to extend, extend our con heartfelt congratulations to you and present to you this little gift as a token of so much that we owe you for so many years of generosity in ministry and sacrifice for the good of the church in this diocese. So. May you wear this with much peace and joy and satisfaction. <coughs> Thank you for what you Thank you. I am deeply humbled by the confidence that His Holiness Pope Benedict XVI has placed in me by this appointment <coughs> as the 10th Bishop of the Diocese of Erie and pledge him my loyalty and fidelity. I express heartfelt thanks to Pope Benedict for entrusting to me the responsibility of leading the good people of that local church in those 13 counties of northwestern Pennsylvania in their pilgrimage of faith as we journey together toward the fullness of the kingdom of God. I am grateful to Archbishop Carlo Maria Vigano the Apostolic Nuncio to the United States for his solicitude and support in this appointment. This is also a time when Pope Benedict XVI is calling for a new evangelization. This is why I have chosen as my motto for my ministry in Erie, Veritas in Caritate, Truth in Charity, as found in St. Paul's letter to the Ephesians, chapter 4, Verses 14 and 15. You know, there's a larger, greater distance between some of the outermost parishes and the diocesan center. Can you, uh, is that going to present new challenges from what you're used to here in Greensburg? Very definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Those who know me know how much I enjoy traveling. <laughs> this is going to be a challenge. But I've already established in. Uh, in the Diocese of Erie, that for the month of October, I will be visiting each of the vicariates. Oh, for the one of us. Uh, Bishop Light, you mentioned the, the year of faith and the propitious timing of this for you to uh, begin your ministry as a bishop along with the year of faith. And I'm sure lots of plans will develop, but are there any things you're carrying in your heart in terms of bringing the year of faith and the new evangelization to Erie? Well, as a matter of fact, I know that Bishop Troutman has established a committee already 
to, uh, to start the process for the year of faith. And I have, once I get there and find out where the light switches are and everything else, I will have the opportunity to start working on it. I think what I perceive my ministry to be is, is to teach and to get the message out about our faith. And that's why I chose the motto that I did, that it is through our faith that the, the basic truths of the faith are taught. And when we do that, we have to do that in love, in charity, because it will be difficult because in our secular culture, that's not always appreciated nor wanted. Thank you very much, and give us a couple minutes. And Thank you all for coming. I appreciate your presence.